Okay, today we're gonna make bread bowls for soup. So we have four and a half cups of flour, bread flour. And then we have two cups of warm water. Two and a half tablespoons of yeast. We have two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, some of my yeast didn't come out. I don't know why, but it didn't come out. You see how the yeast is, it will start activating if you look at the yeast. Um, and this is two tablespoons one tablespoon of sugar granulated sugar and I'm gonna add my salt now here's two tea two and a half teaspoons of salt and I'm gonna put my stand mixer on and I'm gonna mix this for 10 minutes we'll be back oh okay now I'm gonna add three cups of all-purpose flour so here's one Two. There's a third one. And I'm gonna put my mixer on and I'm gonna run it on like two for five minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, so now our, see our dough has um, come away from the sides of the bowl. This is a lot of dough. Um, so we're gonna take it out and clean, hand, clean hands for this. And we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil inside the pan and kind of roll our dough around. Here, look at, just put it up here, honey. We're gonna kind of roll our dough into a ball and we're gonna put it back in our pan. I have a, a, um, a cloth here. I'm gonna put a cloth over it and I'm gonna allow my bread to rise for 35 to 45 minutes. It's probably because of the yeast. Yep, and it's gonna, it should double in size. So we're, we'll be back when that happens. Okay, today we're going to make um, corn chowder in our Ninja Speedy. Right now I have it set to the air fry mode and it's on um, sear. Okay, we're gonna make corn chowder. So we have some olive oil and I'm gonna take put like a tablespoonful or a little bit more and um, I'm gonna take I have four strips of bacon that I've sliced up and I'm gonna put them in here and we're gonna let that saute for a little bit and we'll be back okay so we're back I have some of this granulated garlic or minced garlic I'm sorry I'm going to add a teaspoonful, if you like more, you can add more. Um, you don't want to have that in too long. I'm going to take about three tablespoons of flour and put them in with my, my mixture there. So, hold on, I can't get this open. Close. Okay, you want to coat your vegetables with the flour. And you want all the flour to kind of get wet with the drippings of the bacon and the, whatever the onions have rendered. See how it's getting wet? And then you want to cook it for about a minute. So it doesn't have a flour taste when you, your final dish is ready. If it's not perfect, it's okay because this is a soup, so the broth is going to cook. So, okay, I have I have four cups of um, I use chicken bouillon granules in my water because I didn't have um, the broth. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to show you where, where is it so I can show everybody. Okay, this is the chicken broth um, that we use, this Nor granulate, ugh, Nor chicken 
flavored bouillon granules. This is a 4.4 pound tub. Okay, now I'm gonna take some potatoes and add them to my, this is six very tiny potatoes. You could get away with two or three regular sized potatoes. These were dwarfs. So we're gonna let this simmer for a while and we'll be back. Okay, our bread dough is all done. So we're gonna take it out and put it on our surface. I have my surface dusted with a little bit of flour. This is a real um, elastic dough and we want it like that. So we don't wanna knead it too much. We'll give it one roll around. Okay, and then we're gonna cut it into six equal pieces. Try to make them even. Oh, well, that's not gonna be six, is it? We'll be back. Okay, I have the dough in the six equal pieces. We kind of had a, I had cut it into four, so we had to doctor it up. So we'll turn out. And we want to pin, roll it and kind of pinch it underneath. See how I'm doing that? So then it can cut form a, a ball. And put it in our, and we're gonna get a pan ready and show you what else to do. Okay, I'm gonna transfer my bread balls to a um, cookie sheet. I sprayed it, you don't have to. I just was concerned about them sticking, so maybe that's a good idea. Okay, so I have the four, the four here. Okay, I'm gonna use my knife to slit a bit of a hole in the center. So. You can't have the bread yet, honey. You can't have the bread yet. Okay, so we're gonna cut those. And then I have one egg white here. I'm gonna brush the top. And I'm gonna leave these sit with the, I'm gonna get the um, cloth and put them over it, over the top and I'm gonna let these sit for 30 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, I have two cans of corn because we couldn't find our frozen. So, um, maybe we used it. So two cans of corn, I rinsed this. And then we need a cup of, of heavy whipping cream or a stick of cream cheese or so so I'm gonna add that to my I'm gonna let that warm up and we will be back okay I'm gonna put these in the oven it's 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes and then in the pan above it I'm gonna stick Oh, a cup of water. And we'll be right back. Okay, don't get burned. We're going to take the bread out. We're going to let it cool down almost completely. And we'll be back to cut the center out. It looks like buns. It does. We'll be right back. Okay, our soup's all done. We're gonna put in our bread bowls. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna cut our bread bowls. They were caught together. So you wanna leave some of the bottom and we'll just go around and take the piece of bread out that you get. You can eat the center with some bread or some butter so and then you want to clear a little bit of that out so you have enough room for your soup to be in don't go all the way down to the bottom of course because we're going to put the soup in there and you want to use a creamed sort of soup or else Everything's just gonna come through it. So we'll be right back. 
Hi, welcome back. It's time for the taste test of the homemade bread uh, bowls with the corn chowder soup and the bacon and cheese, uh, fresh grated cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and dig right in. Look at that. Get a piece of bacon on there with it. Mmm. Wonderful. So I'm gonna dig a little bit of the bread away from the side. You can see. Mmm. Mm. Just perfect. Very flavorful. Um, hearty. This is lovely. Look at all that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Mmm. So you take your spoon and dig a little bit of the bread away from the side, mixes in with the soup. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. This was made in the Ninja Speedy, but you can use a Dutch oven if you'd like. Yes. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about our, our channel and our family, won't you? Um, make this for your family. It's really not hard. Um, Rachel's really good at making this kind of stuff. So it's all made by hand and homemade. Very, very good. Um, make this for your family. And until the next time we see each other, get ready for a happy new year and have a great rest of your night. God bless.